It's time for buy, sell, or hold. We take the names and stories in the news. We treat them as if they're stocks. Would you buy them, sell them, or hold them? Well, Lindsay Lohan has lost the role that many thought would spur her big comeback. The makers of Inferno, this is a bio-epic pick of 70s porn queen Linda Lovelace. Now, the, the makers of this thing stood by Lindsay throughout her legal trouble, troubles and rehab, but they finally had to part ways as the film was about to start shooting lawyers. Word is the producers had trouble insuring Lindsay, so dropping Lindsay Lohan is at a buy, sell, or hold. That's a buy. You'd have really? an easier time insuring Mel Gibson, I think. Ooh. I'm a buy as well. Not a fan of her. I think right now she needs to focus on staying clean, staying sober, not focus on the movie. I agree with Lindsay. Oh. I'm a buy. I feel very sorry for her, but I wouldn't do deep throat either. I mean, come on. Well, that's true, but you yeah, look what, what was his name? Marky Mark? Uh, yes. And he, got, he did a... Underwear porn, model. He did, yeah, he did, but he did a film about the porn industry, and that made him uh, a star. I'm, I'm a sell on this. I was hoping she'd have a comeback. All right, so a scoreboard. Well, the wizard keeps raking in the money, thanks in part to fans who rushed to midnight showings. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 set a record for the franchise, selling more than $125 million in tickets. That's 23% higher than any of the other Potter film openings. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone made $307 million domestically and 974 million worldwide. So, will the latest film break that record? What yeah, I love this. I think it the will. Yeah, if the kids are happy, I'm happy. Did the market's see it? happy. No. no. Yeah. I'm a buy too. I haven't seen the movie, but it's a great product. It really seems to be meeting consumer demand. All right. Marketing, marketing. I'm a buy. It's going to make money. You no, know, I'm a mm -hmm. sell because I think the kids are getting too old. I don't think they work anymore. I'm sorry. I just don't get it. But, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll sell. The president will gain the trust of the business community. We're coming to this kind of early, so you've got a little time to talk on this. Do you think he will? Uh, no. I think he'd have to do a lot of different kind of talking to Like convince. what, for example? Well, I stop beating up on the Chamber of Commerce, for one. That would be a nice start. Yeah, but he's going to be talking to the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, we'll I mean, see won't how that, that break goes. the ice? I'm not convinced. Okay, no. all right. I didn't talk I'm, to I'm a this. hold. I, I want to be optimistic because he really does seem like he wants to bring uh, together the two sides of the parties. He wants to respond to what the constituents told him. But I'm very hesitant to believe uh, that he is willing to really Partic be pro-business. Particularly when you think of everything that he has done. Mm -hmm. People, I think, now are beginning to judge him by his actions, not by his mm -hmm. words. This is a buy. Obama is for Obama. He's going to move into the center. People are not listening to me. He wants to win really? in 2012. And look, with businesses, David, it's about money. And if he passes policies like Clinton did and partner with the Republicans, yeah, he's going Clinton to... Clinton was a consummate politician. He was always compromising mm -hmm. throughout and his this career. Is, this this is... guy has spent a lot of time sticking to his guns. But this is on the job training is, is amateur night at the Apollo, and I think he's going to follow suit. I don't know. You're on your own on this one. I think <laughs> it's a sell. I, I just don't think he's going to part ways from his ideology, which has been clear from the get-go, and 98% of you, as you see, say sell as well. Stay tuned for Judge Andrew Napolitano and Freedom Watch, then Eric Bowling following the money tomorrow on Scoreboard NASCAR.